Hi, Nils from Black Dragon Forge. Here with another workshop tip for you. Basically what this one is about is uh, the process I go through when uh, I actually make my ABS sheets. Now locally we don't find Kydex um, and if we want it we have to import it. But this is a local equivalent, it's called ABS. Alright, and it has got a, what they call a leather pattern on the one side and a smooth on the other side. And uh, I use this as a const or, uh, substitution to, uh, to Kydex. Okay, so there we go. The reason I've got gloves on is I put these in the oven, like you do with, with uh, Kydex, but uh, when they come out, they're at 100 degrees Celsius. And Celsius, when I talk about uh, measurements uh, being South African, it'll be Celsius, okay, uh, temperature wise, and uh, measurements will be in millimeters. All right, so. Uh, here we go, two pre-cut, well I've got a whole stack of them. Basically what I'm doing is uh, we'll be making a sheath for one of my combat spikes. 8 millimeters, 5160, SAE 5160, logo is hard stamped but the rest of the knife has been stock removed. You'll see these grooves in there, uh, that's basically in there to uh, make it stick in the ABS sheath. Okay, three, 330 paracord uh, wrapped around the handle, uh, prefer the 330 as uh, 550 is a bit thinner. I think this be a nicer, nicer wrap. Okay, but anyway, enough of that. Basically what you need is obviously the knife, uh, pre-cut ABS, I've got a whole stack of them as I will need to do 10 of these. Um, and then we've got this, which is a closed cell foam. Okay, sheets here is about 400 by 300, cut very professionally as you can see. It doesn't matter, and as you can see from the dentation on it, it's done a lot of work. You need two of these, okay? And uh, this is my setup, like that. Now it goes on the side, then I've got an oven. Okay, now this one was very, very cheap. I bought it brand new. Um, I paid 600 Rand for it. Um, I now see they're uh, around about 450 Rand. That's ZAR. Um, so 10 Rand equals $1 over about there. Okay, but uh, these the thermometers on them aren't really all that good. So I've got a second one sitting down there. And I've triple checked that one. When I say triple checked, I've checked it against three other thermometers and this one and the other three I was working. Uh, they gave me the same temperature and they gave me the same variant as here. Now up here uh, on the actual oven, it's set at 150 degrees Celsius, but my digital thermometer shows about 120 degrees Celsius. Now that's the temperature I work at. And uh, basically the process is I stick the ABS texture side up in the oven, okay, and then I close it. Now what I do is, uh, and I'm not going to show this on the video, um, I let them sit there, uh, depending on how long your oven's been running for and how hot it is, whether it's been preheated or not, uh, basically what you're looking for is you're looking for the ABS to actually start relaxing. So what's going to happen is, from the, the texture being imprinted on this, there's obviously tension in this. So as soon as you heat it up, it actually starts curling, if you watch my finger, it actually starts curling up. Now you never know, depending on, on how the sheet was cut, whether it's actually going to be curling up from this side or from this side. Okay, but basically what's going to happen, it's going to start curling on itself, okay? And as soon as it starts relaxing, in other words, it starts curling back. Alright, so when you touch it, then it feels like rubber, no longer like a plastic, it actually feels like a rubber. Then what I do is I take the two pieces out, one goes texture side down, the knife then goes on top of it, and the other one then goes on top of that. I then close this down, put it on the floor, and then step on it, literally stand on it. Now I weigh around about 98 kilograms, well it's not around about, that's exactly. But <laughs> anyway, then I step on it, um, and then no need for a press, I am the press. Um, so there we go, quick and easy. For the next section of the video I'll actually show you how quick it is. It is really, it does take a couple of seconds. The ABS in here has already started curling. I don't know if you can actually see in there. I'm going to try to zoom in. And then obviously every time I open this thing up, um, let's just have a look, it's actually out of picture now. I don't know if you can actually see that. Let me, let me adjust the camera. Okay, so we'll do this as one take, if you wouldn't mind, or you don't mind the, the camera shaking. Alright, so you can actually see it start curling there. Alright, so I am going to try to leave the camera on it. Just to show you. There we go. And this takes a couple of, couple of minutes to do. 
Uh, you can see it already starts to relax. It's still feeling plasticky on the edge, although it's bending in my hand. But you want this to literally feel like rubber. Okay, so let's reset my knife. My knife is in the right spot. I'm actually now just going to take this and move this out of the way. So further back, so we can get a larger section of this in here. Not in, out. Okay, and there's my beard again. Oh, this is the, the shop kitchen, by the way. Yeah. This is where you enjoy numerous cups of coffee. Well, not enjoy them. We enjoy them all over the shop. But uh, that's where they get made. Alright, so what I've done is I've got the floor in, and I'm going to open the door to my grinding room. And as you can hear, the guys are, are working, as they should be. So this one is almost ready. You can just feel that. Almost there. So let's just get my remote out of the way. So, oh, and I added a light so you guys can actually see. There's normally like a, my, the darker section in the shop. Um, and when I do ABS, uh, this is a little portable light comes up. And there we go, one of these tube lights. And they just clip in there. So I don't have a dedicated light here. Although we've got a light in the ceiling, that's enough to make coffee. Okay, so enough, enough of talking crap, let's do this. I want her to just do another couple of seconds. So, heard any good like, jokes lately? Oh, this is, I've upgraded my mug, let me show you this. How's that? This is a standard one you've seen in a, in a previous video. And now this one is double the size. Ah. Yeah? Perfect! And uh, we've gone camping and uh, this one ended up uh, boiling a bit of rice as well. Perfect! A coffee and rice mug. Alright, so let's get put down to business. So my knife is ready, okay? That's a picture, perfect. Let me pull this out and this is going to go really quickly. So I put the first one down, make sure it's flat. Put my knife in there, making sure there's enough clearance around it because I'm going to remove it later on. Put this down and as you can see, I'm working fairly quickly. Put that one down there and I'm just going to... Oh, this is a picture. And I now just step on it. Okay, and that is enough of a little cat dance. As you can see, my dancing skill, I haven't, well, I'm not known for my dancing skill. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to bring the camera back in. So if you want more definition in the ABS, you're obviously going to wait for it to, uh, oh, to uh, heat up a bit more. So, sorry, I want to get this in as quick as possible. Let's try to zoom out of the remote. There we go. Okay, so if you want more definition, and you can actually get it. So you, you see the paracord, and I'm going to bring another one through. So, there we go. If you need to show the actual paracord, the definition of the paracord in there, what you're going to do is you're going to let this sit in the oven a bit longer. Okay. So there we go. Quick and really, really easy way to preform uh, ABS or Kydex. Hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, that's it. Have fun, enjoy, and remember to share. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. And in the background, you're hearing Blomiki, which is a little parakeet. Cheers!